that the world is opening back up, that means we're gonna travel. And of course, when you travel, you got your essentials. But a lot of people don't wanna talk about how traveling affects your skin and how to keep your skincare routine convenient. So let's talk about my favorite skincare from Japan, Balcom. They have a new travel kit that is solving all those issues. We're gonna talk about why traveling can mess up your skin. We're gonna also travel to some really dope Japanese dessert spots around New York. Big shout out to Balcom for sponsoring this video. They are the premier luxury skincare for men from Japan. They are putting everything from this into this for their new travel kit. All right, so real quick, we gotta talk about three reasons why when you travel, and I've been through this myself, your skin might get worse. Some of you might be saying to yourself right now, but Andrew, you don't have flawless skin. Why are you telling me about skincare? Yes, that is a good point. Naturally, I just do not have the J-pop, K-pop skin, but I have to work to even get to this point, and my skin even looks this good in part because I use bulk home all the time. Reason number one is traveling and changing climates and air quality can really affect your skin. Listen, your skin is a breathing, living thing that's on your body, so when you change environments, whether that's from humid to dry, no sun to very sunny, it can affect your skin. I can tell you from personal experience that living in the San Gabriel Valley of LA is a lot drier for my skin than living in, for example, Seattle or New York. Point number two, long plane rides can actually make your face greasier. In a plane, there's not gonna be a lot of humidity, right? There's not gonna be a lot of moisture. They're gonna make it dry for a reason. And also the air is being recycled within the plane. So that's why after like a six, seven hour flight, you might feel your face and it feels kind of greasy. That's because it's so dry, your skin is actually overcompensating and producing more oil on your face. Point number three, when you're traveling, you're just living a different life. You have a totally different regimen, sleep pattern, everything is different. For me personally, sleep means a lot. So when I'm changing different time zones or I took a red eye and I have jet lag, I can tell you that my face can break out. I'm waking up the next day with a little bit more red blemishes, acne, whatever Whatever you want to call it and it's just like makes the trip a lot less enjoyable and another thing a lot of people don't think about is that your regimen is off you're not even using necessarily the same skincare routine that you're using at home and you might be using it at different times you might be skipping some hours because you took a red eye and then the flight's over and then you know you went back in time so I don't know whatever it is it's just messing up your regimen also when people travel a lot of people don't drink enough water and water is really good for your skin and for those reasons I'm recommending bulk homes new travel kit it's minimalistic it's cool and it has all the components from the full-size skincare routine that I talked about in previous videos oh it's 11 p.m. I gotta wash my face here are some reasons why I think that this is the best travel kit out there first of all it's the same luxury skincare from Japan that you're getting from these guys second reason why is it's cool it's minimalistic it's small compact fits in a bag fits in your carry-on. Number three, this whole pack should last you about five days if you're using it night and day, but depending on how much you use, maybe it could last you more. Reason number four is that this miniature foaming net actually still provides a lot of the same experience as this full-size one. Yes, you might get a little bit more bubbles here, but think about it, you can get that same luxurious, foaming, rich sensation that you get from this from just this. And number five, if you travel a lot, you know that you have to keep like a little travel kit on the side that you can just grab and go so you're not always grabbing all your bigger bottles and squeezing them into these little travel size things. No, they put it all here for you right now. This is the miniature version of my favorite skincare. So it's super easy. I'm just gonna let this sit on the side. I won't use it on my day to day if I'm at my house, but if I need to travel, I'm just gonna pick it up and go. Overall, if you've seen any previous videos where I talk about bulk home, You'll know how much I love this product. It's a great experience. It has great ingredients, macadamia oil, yuzu, apple, green tea extract. This is just my favorite skincare of them all. It's made, designed, and created in Japan and used all around the world. It's super famous in Europe and a lot of other places in Asia. So you guys check it out. If you're interested in the new bulk home travel kit, you can actually click on this link down below and get 15% off for the rest of the month of June. And if you want the full size versions, you can just buy them off of amazon.com on Amazon Prime, so they'll ship super quickly to your house. The world is opening up soon. I plan on traveling a lot more, and this is one of my essentials now. All right, so I know I'm not traveling very far, but I will show you how I use this bulk home travel kit, even when I just go to Brooklyn. All right, so our first Japanese dessert spot is a really cool spot out in Brooklyn. It's on the edge of Williamsburg and Greenpoint. So this is called Patisserie Tomoko. The chef, Tomoko, she's from Japan, but has worked in a lot of famous French pastry shops. And what she wanted to do was keep the French technique and form 
but with Japanese flavoring. So things are not gonna be too sweet. They're gonna have a lot of green tea, a lot of yuzu, and yuzu actually, funny enough, is one of the ingredients in Polko. I didn't plan for this, I'm just saying, it all works together. Let's go try some desserts. All right, starting off, I'm not gonna lie, I wish David was here to join me because I know David likes desserts. Here is the green tea tiramisu. Tiramisu, of course, you know the famous cake, but everything is replaced. No coffee, green tea. So, first of all, let me go for the yuzu de kwa. Yuzu de kwa. It just broke down in my mouth. Super light and fluffy pastry. That yuzu cream is delicious. All right, man, let me try this green tea and tiramisu. David, don't worry, I'm gonna bring the rest back for you. Green tea, tiramisu. Mm. Green tea's really light, not too sweet. Japanese people, they don't want things too sweet, too salty, just right, nice in the middle. Okay, this is the fruit tart. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know how to bite into this or, or use my fork because I think it's all gonna crumble, so I'm just gonna take a bite. It is what it is. What is this, the bulk home foaming face wash? I got all over my face. I love it, I like how it's really semi-sweet. Cream puff, two types of cream. Let's check it out. I might just have to take the top off. Mm. Yo, definitely better than beard poppers. However, Wow, my favorite things and the things you must get are the de kwa, the light almond pastry sandwiches. I mean, I think it was cool to come to like a Japanese person because this is from a Japanese person, but it's like in a French form with Japanese flavorings. And then bulk home as a face wash, you know, as skincare is made in Japan, but it has kind of like French influence in the name and kind of what it's trying to accomplish. So it really makes sense that we're here, but I got one more spot to show you. It's Kitsby. It's a Asian American owned, Japanese inspired dessert spot right down there in Williamsburg. So let's go. All right, so my next spot is Kitsby. It is a Asian owned. One of the owners is from Hong Kong. One of the owners is from Taiwan. They have an Asian pastry chef and they've all came together to make one of the most aesthetically pleasing Asian owned dessert spots in the whole area. There's a lot of Japanese influence, Japanese flavoring, some Chinese influence. Guys, there's just a lot to see. They have like these special lava cakes. It looks crazy. Super Instagrammable. Let's go. All right, basically, I just love how the travel kit is so compact. I mean, look how small it is. It fits into my side bag and uh, I still have space for other things. So pretty much how you use bulk home is you're gonna have your foaming net. You're gonna take a little bit of this face wash. So you can see it's foaming up right now. It's lathering with its rich kind of like thick foam. It almost feels like a like a whipped cream on my face. Have no time to dry your face. I'm just gonna slap on some of this toner and it's gonna just soak in with the water. Mmm. Woo! All right, so once my face is dried, I'm gonna use the lotion. That's all you need, by the way. Woo! My face is clean, I'm super refreshed. I know that that was a long trip, a long flight, whatever it was. Maybe your skin was dehydrated, maybe you got too greasy on the plane, but that's how easy it is to use Bulk Homes Travel Kit. All right, diving into it, I gotta go with the salted egg yolk lava cake, man. This is probably gonna remind me of that dim sum dish, the Osa Bao. Let's check it out. Wow, bro. That's gotta be one of the best, if not the best salted egg yolk dessert I've ever had. Going along with the lava cake theme, I got the black sesame one. This one, I'm sure, visually, is gonna blow your mind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can smell the steamy black sesame. It really smells like um, a Chinese dessert tongue. It got a little ice cream, steamy black sesame. Comparing this spot to Patisserie Tomoko, I gotta say, this spot's definitely sweeter. The flavors are hitting you harder. The desserts are a little bit more rich. Both spots were delicious and basically visually appealing because you know nowadays, most people, they are eating with their eyes. So shout out to Kitsby and Patisserie Tomoko because they are doing some incredible things with Asian flavors. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video about Bulk Home's new travel kit and why I think it's your next essential. You know, Bulk Home is my regular skincare routine. And when I travel, things change. The environment, the climate, everything that I talked about earlier, those things are going to affect my skin. So if you guys are interested in buying this travel kit, click on the link down below. It's 15% off for the rest of June. If you use our code and use that link, 
Also, if you just want to buy like the maximum bigger size, regular size version, you can buy those things on Amazon Prime. If you want more information about Bulk Homes products, you can go on their website or you can watch my previous video that I made, you know, a little bit a while ago, kind of more explaining the product. But hopefully you guys understand what I'm talking about here. And hopefully you guys also understand why traveling can affect your skin. I'm telling you, it's like the worst thing. You like think you're gonna go on this trip, it's gonna be fun, and then your skin is not cooperating. And like I said, it's a living thing on you. So of course, you know, it needs to be taken care of. So again, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions about the Bulk Home product. Also, let me know what other Japanese foods or desserts you would like to see us try because I'm always down to try more Japanese food. All right, everybody, till next time, I'm out. Peace.